Hello and welcome. In this video, I will guide you through creating a data pre-processing template which will allow you to complete any data pre-processing phase for future machine learning model implementation. So, let us get started with what is data pre-processing in machine learning. Data pre-processing is an essential phase in building your machine learning model. It is not an exciting phase, but sometimes it takes much of your time. So it is very important to have a ready template or guide that includes a set of steps that you must use to make this processing faster. It is the first important step because anytime you want to write a machine learning model, you have a data pre-processing phase to work on. You have to process data successfully so that the machine learning model you are going to build can be trained on the data efficiently. Again, it is not an exciting step, but it must be done efficiently so that we process rapidly into creating machine learning model. In this video, I will teach you the different set of tools that you have to use on the data set to pre-process it in the right way for your machine learning models. For this tutorial, I have prepared a sample data set in order to show you how to implement all these data pre-processing tools. This dataset belongs to a retail company that collected some data from their customers and whether or not they purchase a certain product. Each of the rows correspond to different customers, and for each customer, this retail company gathers their country, age, salary, and whether or not they purchase certain product. This is a simple dataset that I wanted to use in order to focus on the tool that we will learn in data preprocessing. So, what are the steps in data pre-processing? There are six steps in the data pre-processing phase. The first step is how to import the libraries. These are the libraries that we will use in any machine learning implementation. So, we will include them in the template so that they can be used in future implementation. The second step is importing the dataset. It is the same dataset that I showed you before I will show you how to import it using Python. The third step is how to take care of missing data. Because indeed, in most of the data sets you will work on in your career, you might encounter some missing data. And that is the case in the sample data set. There are missing salaries and missing age. I will show you exactly what to do in order to handle this. There are some techniques that there are the most relevant to optimize the training of your machine learning models. The fourth step is how to encode categorical data, whether it is an independent variable, which is your predictor, or the dependent variable, which is what you want to predict. Well, as you see in the sample data set, we have two categorical variables. The country column contains three categories and the purchase column which contains two categories, yes and no. I will show you what to do so that you can process any data. The fifth step is to split the data set into the training set and the test set. Because each time you have to train a machine learning model, you have to create two separate sets. One training set where you are going to train your machine learning model to understand the correlation inside your data set and one test set that you are going to use to evaluate your machine learning model on your new observations. The test set is like new data where the model was not trained. This is an essential step in order to ensure that there is no overfitting because sometimes the machine learning model will be trained very well on the training set and it won't perform well on a new observation. The sixth and last step is very important step that you might have to use in some of your machine learning models implementation, which is feature scaling, which actually scale all your feature to make sure that they are on the same scale. You don't have to use that all the time. It depends on the data set you are using. So in the end, these are the six steps that we will use in any data pre-processing phase. In the next video, I will show you how to implement the 6 step and create a template for data pre-processing phase. Thank you and stay tuned.